Multi-core processing can have benefits and drawbacks, and sometimes you need to manually assign CPU cores to programs, aka CPU affinity, in order to gain the best performance. Under Linux, the primary tool is task set. That sounds potentially scary, but we'll break it down in easy steps to simplify the process. Task set basics. Using task set can be broken down into two parts, CPU affinity with programs to be launched and with programs already running. Launching the programs is the easier of the two, so we'll start there. A launch command looks like this, task set minus C CPU core number and then application. Before you enter the number of the CPU core you want to assign, don't forget that a Unix numbering system scheme typically starts with zero. So your first core will be zero, your second core will be one, and so on. Thus, a dual core machine will have cores zero and one, and a quad core machine will have cores zero, one, two, and three. Let's say you want to run Audacity on a dual core system, and you want it running on your second core. That command would be task set minus C one Audacity. Using multiple cores. Say for example on one of our machines, Firefox would sometimes drop frames when streaming video, but would behave itself when assigned to two cores. If you want to try the same thing on a quad core system and wish to assign Firefox to cores three and four, the command would be as follows. You don't have to assign CPU affinity to sequential cores, you can pick any cores at random. Let's say you have a six core machine and you want to use Firefox on cores two and six, you would enter the command as follows. You can also use a dash to spread the application over several cores. For example, many older programs or system functions will default to your first core. What if you want to leave the first core as free as possible while spreading a large application across all your other cores? Let's say you have an eight core system and you want to run Steam from the second core through to the eighth. The command would be task set minus C one dash seven Steam. Changing affinity for a program that's already launched. Task set isn't limited to simply launching applications. You can also change the CPU affinity for a program that's already running. However, before you can change an application's affinity, you first need to know its process ID or PID for short. To find out your application's PID, you could try using your desktop system monitor, but the quickest way is just to use top. Unsurprisingly, it uses the command top. The names of all running commands are on the right side of the screen. The corresponding process IDs are on the left. Write down your PID as you'll use it in a moment. For this example, we'll use VLC, which is running at the same time. The application won't actually show up unless it's doing something. If you click away from it, and it stops working and then it stops showing up. So it's best if you can get it to run something. To change the affinity of an existing process, the syntax looks like this. Task set dash CP core numbers and then PID. So let's try running it on the fourth, fifth and sixth cores, which using the Unix numbering system will be three to five. So after all that, the command will be task set CP three dash five and then the PID. But what if you want to check out the existing affinity before changing that? For that, you don't enter any core numbers and task set will tell you how the affinity is currently assigned. So if we change the last command to task set dash CP and then the PID, it shows us that VLC is spread across these cores. So that's easy, isn't it? If you're looking to benchmark your PC, do check out our guide. Link in the description. OK, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. That's all for now. See you next time.